Welcome to the first of a few uh, screencasts on web hosting domain names and FTP for the first assignment. And what I want to say, first of all, even though we've recommended SiteGround, you don't have to use it. If you want to use another one, that's fine. You could just go to Google, check out web hosting reviews, which leads us to the next part. Well, like what is a web host? And it's basically just a service that allows you to store your files uh, for for your website, HTML files, PHP files, and what have you. It can do a lot more, but that's for our purposes, that's what it's going to do. Uh, next is uh, just a quick view of what SiteGround has to offer and any other web hosting company for that matter. Uh, so uh, here's my account that I have, and if I click on my accounts, uh, what we really want to look at are, uh, to start with is just the C panel, and I'll click here, and this C panel what this gives you all the services that you have available uh, for instance what domains and what you can do with them and I'm not going to go through all these there's there's a lot of stuff in here but just to give you an idea that this is what's available uh, for instance if you're interested in WordPress there's some pre-configured WordPress tools and uh, file management um, if you don't want to use FTP and how to set up your FTP accounts is in here as well so those are some of the uh, things that you get with a web host. Next I'd like to talk a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, a little bit about domain names. Pardon me about that. And domain names is, you know, we talked, you can, mine's charliewallen.com. Uh, you just pick a domain name that works for you. It does not have to do anything with this class. There are many places to buy domain names. Um, there's one I think called Cheap Domains. One that's popular with a lot of students last year with Hover. Uh, you can look around for different prices and uh, just you'll need a domain name and a web host. Now web hosting services uh, they too will offer you to uh, buy domain names and you can buy them within your web host. Personally I recommend against that but it works nice and easy and if you're just getting started that might be the way to do it. Uh, we can talk more about that in the online forum. So that's web host, and then you get a domain name. And the next part is you have to what's called propagate your domain name to your host. Your host is just going to provide you an IP address. And so you want your domain name to be associated with your host. And this seems a little bit backwards, but let me show you how to do this. Um, go to my accounts. And you'll see in this, at least with SiteGround, I have an accounts DNS. And it shows uh, right here, NS. Uh, one dot us eight uh, dot site ground dot us that is an important number is our account dns so that's on my web host and I, my, I got my domain name with google domains now let's check that out real quick so if i go to google domains with my domain name i need to tell it my domain name where my site is being hosted so if i check out uh, dns to configure my dns you'll see down here that it says um, I've clicked on use custom name servers so I, what name server do I have it's the one that I have associated or the one that is with uh, SiteGround and it'll ask you if to put in more than one uh, go ahead you'll normally have two sometimes three so in short that's uh, a quick introduction to web hosting SiteGround domain names and how to propagate your domain name so it is associated with your web host